Hi, I'm Steve from Two Cat Media and welcome to another video. In fact, welcome to the channel in general. Welcome, my friends. Now, today we're looking at the Holy Stone 720E drone. Now, I'm not going to be doing an unboxing because if you see the link above, I've already done an unboxing as it is and I went into things in quite a bit of detail. I will run over some things really, really quickly, but if you want to hear things in a bit more detail and a bit more of a review, in essence then uh, please click the link above if you do see this cable trailing around there it's for the microphone for the camera so please apologies in advance I'm not that tidy today okay so the point of this video is to show you the initial setup from the box all the way prior to flying okay now we're not going to be flying the drone today but we are going to set it up so it's all kind of calibrated etc get any kind of stickers off there that we don't need on there and charge the batteries etc now the first things first actually is to charge the batteries now when you open it up you do get a battery in the box which is in the drone with this kind of foam sleeve on there and i suggest that you keep it on the battery until you want to use it in the drone because I use it, I don't throw it away, I know some people do, but if you want to store it or you want to uh, transport it, it stops the connectors on the battery and the connectors inside the drone kind of making near contact and it stops the batteries from draining as quick or causing any kind of problems. So for, for the sake of this video, we'll leave them on, okay? Okay, so the first things first is charge your battery up. Now, the charger inside the case as covered in my previous videos uh, that takes five to seven hours per battery I do apologize I've got itch it here five to seven hours per battery if you do buy a third party one like again is in the other video that I've got it does charge both batteries at the same time in five to seven hours rather than five to seven hours per battery so pause the video watch that video if you need to and then go and charge your batteries you should be ready I'm gonna take some house points off for you for that I think Okay, so we'll presume now that you've come back and you've charged your batteries, okay? So the first thing we're gonna do is just take off this foam. We're gonna get the battery. We're gonna do it so the button's on the bottom of the battery. There, okay? And then you see the back of the battery there, the drone rather, and we're just gonna put it in and do it until it clicks. Now sometimes you might get the odd battery that doesn't click in. So you just press the button on the bottom of the battery there and, and just push it in, okay? And it should be nice and secure, just test it. So your battery's in there, that's part one done. Okay, the next thing, let's open up the arms on the drone. Now the, you do it in a certain way, okay? It's always front arms first, then the back on each side. So front arms first, and then the back, okay? So front arms first, and then the back. You can do the opposite way around, but as soon as you open the back arm first, the back legs first, then the, the front arms, they, they can't open because they get stuck. Okay, uh, first of all then, on the front of the drone, on the lens, on the camera, there will be a sticky bit of film, with a little red tag. So I'll just pull that off, okay? And then you flip it over onto the bottom. And here you will see the landing lights and the sensor. Now each of those will have a little sticky film on it. So again, take the little sticky film off both of those. Now on the left hand side here, if you can see, they should be just here, uh, just here, that's it, just here. Um, I will put a photo, a close up photo of it on the screen. And that's where you put your SD card in just there. Now you will need to put in a class 10 uh, SD card and my advice to you is to put in a quality branded one. I think you can put up to 128 gigabytes in there but 32 or 64 should be okay for what you need it for. Uh, in my drone I know I have a, a 128 gigabytes. If you are going to be filming in 4k and I don't see why you wouldn't want to then you will make sure that the the class of the card is also a U3, so a class 10 U3, just so it has enough speed to write and read to the disc while it's recording, okay? But do invest and spend that little bit more 
on a branded SD card so that you don't want to spend an hour or two outside getting some epic footage ready to upload to YouTube or to show to your friends and family and then to have the dire effect that you've lost it, there's some kind of glitch on the card. And it can happen to any card, but it's less likely on a branded card. So with the SD card, you'll get the little micro SD card, take it out to the adapter if it comes with one, put it so that the contacts are facing downwards and put it into the slot and push it in with your fingernail till you hear a little click. And that's it. So, so far, that's the drone done. So I'm just gonna put this over here, okay? And then we have the transmitter. Now on the top here, we have the aerials, the antenna driver. Now just so you know that this one here on the right, it's fake, it doesn't, doesn't do anything, okay? So we don't need to worry about that. Uh, but this one, the left one, you can pick it up, turn it around, so it's straight and Holy Star themselves have actually says to do it this way to get the best possible reception and do it so that you can't push it back anymore and that's fine and then to put your mobile device in there you just bring this up like like so bring down the little flap at the bottom there you'll see all this on the other video but that's where you will put that but we don't need to worry too much about that at the moment so we'll just put those down like that now on the controller as well, just quickly, you've got your take off and land button there. You have your return to home button just there, your analog sticks. Now I have taken the ends off these because I feel I have more control without the extra height of the sticks. So that works better for me. Um, and you have your lock button just here, which you use to lock and also to turn off in an emergency, if it works. I'll explain about that in a bit and also to prime your motors before you fly off. And here you have a, your, a slide button for the power on button, okay? Now, if you turn it around to the back, you will bring down these kind of supports here, these hand supports, and then you can get access then here to the battery panel, of which if you push it down like this, you can put in there two AA batteries, and again, I recommend getting a quality branded battery because you don't want it to run out of battery mid-flight. I have, initially I was putting in cheap batteries, cheap ones from the pound shop, you get like 10 or 12 batteries for like a pound or a dollar. And it was running out very, very quickly. So now I've started putting in like Duracell or Energizer like that's in here at the moment. And they last a hell of a lot longer. So yes, always use quality branded batteries as well you don't want to be losing your your drone do you over a battery over a dollar or a pound okay so let's put the cover back on and then we can turn it back around okay first thing you need to do is with the drone you just want to turn it on so we're just going to press the button once to do a beep Okay, so that's turned on, that's powered on. And you'll see the colours there. So they're actually like green and they're flashing intermittently. Okay, because you can't pick up a transmitter. Okay, so we're just going to put that there a second. Now on here, you need to set up the calibration and also pair the transmitter for the first time with the drone. Now you only need to do this once or should do it once. So what you want to do is before you turn it on, you want to press and hold the lock button. So press and hold that. And then you'll slide on the power button. And then the screen will come on. You'll do like a bit of a reset. And then you'll see a picture of the drone on this side with the battery level and the signal strength. And as soon as you can see, see those, then you know it's paired. So that's turning on. So I'm going to hold that and turn it on. See there, it's, it's binding. Okay, so we have signal strength. Now, when you first turn it on for the very first time, I think it flashed up here, you should get a little round drone icon flashing, which means you need to calibrate it. Now, I always calibrate it prior to my first flight of the day. Okay, so in order for me to force that to happen, and so you can do it in the future, with these uh, analog sticks, if you put them down towards the bottom right corners, like that, 
it will enter calibration mode and you'll see the little um, there we go the little flashing icon of the drone so now we need to calibrate it so let's get the drone horizontally and then you just want to turn it around three times so that's one two three and then you want to hold it vertically as well now it's best to have the camera pointing in the air as you don't want to be holding the camera on the bottom and potentially dislodging it or kind of any kind of damage moving forward so let's turn that round the light should be flashing on the bottom and after you've done about two or three revolutions it should be a solid color which i think it is now there we go so now we have red on the front arms and green stable on light on the bottom on the back arms okay so that's there and that's all calibrated that is it and you are ready to roll basically okay so now if I put this on here and stay away from it now when I press the red button here the red lock button it you press it for the first time which once this is connected to this and you've turned them both on if you press that the mounters will spin around for a few seconds until you take off if you don't do anything it will stop so let's just test that now so I'm going to press the button okay so they're priming up now and I could fly off if I wanted to but give it a few seconds and it should just turn off okay so that's cool so let's do that one more time and there we go and in a few seconds it should turn off now we will try the the emergency shut off button which is the same button but you press and hold it okay so we're going to press it and then we're going to press and hold it and that turns it off a bit quicker now there are times and i've seen it on other videos and it's happened to me where you maybe you've crashed into some long grass you try and turn it off in an emergency and hold it and it doesn't work it happens sometimes so just be mindful of that if that happens and it's safe to do so then i would suggest if, if it has flicked over that you just try and pick it up as best as, as safely as possible and just try and remove the battery at the bottom okay you might lose some of your footage if it is recording but at least your drone will be hopefully a bit safer okay and so finally all you have to do now is download the affilio go app now all you have to do is go to your play store on an android device or go to the apple store on the iphone and download the affilia go app it's a black icon with a 4 or a 4k on it so download that and then once you've got it installed just put your mobile device into here pull it up put the flap down so it's all nice and secure and then all you have to do is just make sure you've got power on and the lights are on on your drone and then go to your wi-fi settings on your phone on your individual phone and find the holy stone wi-fi network click on that and connect then go and open up the app and you should be connected and ready to fly and then you will know that you're ready to fly uh, and it's all connected because you'll be able to see on the screen what the camera can see as well and that's it that's pretty much it that's all you need to do now i am going to be making another video very very soon once the weather gets a bit better it's been a bit drizzly and rainy lately but i am going to be doing a video where i look at the affiliate go app and look at the settings in the app as well as the in-flight functions such as the follow me the orbital mode the, he the headless mode and the tap to fly i've never used the tap to fly yet uh, so i'm a bit, a bit nervous about that but we'll see if i get a drone back if it just flies off whatever hopefully i don't connect something about a mile away and then it loses complete connection and goes a bit haywire but either way we will test out those functions no matter what so if you've enjoyed the video then please consider giving it a big thumbs up and any questions at all as regards the video or the holy stone drone itself then please feel free to put them in the comment section below and i will do my best to answer as many as i can and also and most importantly if you are new to the channel and you're enjoying the content then please 
please apart from giving it a big thumbs up and commenting below please consider subscribing and becoming part of the two cat community that is two cat media on that note thank you very much for watching stay safe and have a healthy and long life take care